Look at the world in which you live. Then zoom into the nearest forest. What animal do you see when you look at that forest? Maybe you see a herd of deer or elk. Maybe you see a flock of birds. But what we see is a bear in this forest all alone, if not tending for helpless cubs. Now try to picture yourself in the forests or even the mountains of Cantabria. You can see a specific type of bear, the Cantabrian brown bear, but its numbers are dwindling and soon there will not be a single bear in Cantabria. And this bear is a key part of the habitat in which it lives, and without it, the habitat will slowly die too. It was made illegal to kill Cantabrian brown bears in Spain in 1973, as they were declared endangered. Now they have their own foundation because of how few they are. And now, instead of hunting the bears, people watch to see them coming out of their dens to feed on grass and catch Hello, my name is Taya Brown, and this is my partner, Melissa Lang. We've been researching this fascinating animal for the last two months, and we just couldn't be more excited to tell you about them today. First of all, the bears that we are researching are an extremely small group of brown bears that refers to a slightly larger population of Eurasian brown bears that live in Cantabrian Mountains in the forests of Spain. The Cantabrian brown bear lives in Spain. Spain is located in Stone Castle, a place filled with snow-capped mountains and vast monuments, all of which have been made into notable travel destinations, and the fascinating country is bordered by Portugal and France. Spain and its neighbors have a rather murky history, but Spain has been known for not getting along perfectly well with its neighbors, and might have just started a couple of wars, although we don't know for sure. Here is a map of Spain. The gray spots are the small places where they live. Cantabria, Austrias, and a small place in Leon. Although they have an area where they are only in a small place where they are being studied. The government of Spain has a pretty religiously based and has a prime minister, unlike most countries, although England's government is structured the same. And this animal was being constantly killed because it would roam in the open where hunters could easily kill them. Also, they didn't move around so much, so the hunters knew where they lived to come back after a good night's sleep. Have you ever thought about being a bear? If you were a bear or any other predator, you would have to hunt and work for your food. You couldn't just go to the store. You'd have to hunt for it. They also keep their cubs safe and warm. These bears have very strong legs as well as a muscle hump for running hard without getting tired. And they have padded feet for running on rough ground and a large nose and very small eyes and ears. But I think the most remarkable thing about them is that they are the only bears that, doesn't, that do not hibernate in the winter. And that is why they have a large tuft of fur on their neck to keep their breath warm. Some ideas and solutions to this problem is that we don't fear the animal and we keep things the way they are with the conservation and consider spreading the word to that they are in danger. Every voice counts. And that is quite true because the 1920 population of this bear was almost reaching the 10,000s at 9,500. In the 1940s, as they started to be hunted, their population plummeted down to about 5,000. And at the 1970s, there were only 1,000 bears. And sadly, now there are less than 300 bears roaming in Canterbury. So please be aware of the sad truth that these bears, as well as many other animals, are endangered and almost extinct. And thanks for watching!